Hello, my name is AJ. Today we're going to be covering the installation of Elasticsearch in Kibana to get you started with the Elastic Stack. To get started, we go to Elastic.co and click on the Products page. We then can click on both Elasticsearch and Kibana. The flow is the same, so we'll just do this uh, with Elasticsearch. Click on the Download button here on the right-hand side, and I'm presented with a number of options for different installations based on the operating system of your choice. Today I'll be installing this on a MacBook Pro, so I'll be selecting the macOS Linux versions of the installations. I've already taken the liberty of doing this ahead of time, and I have these zip files here listed in, in the, on the shell on the screen. So what I'm going to do is, just to get started, we'll install Elasticsearch and get it running, so, or just install or unzip it. So we'll do a tar ZXVF on Elasticsearch. We will CD into Elasticsearch directory. 6.4.2 is the version we're using today. I type bin Elasticsearch, and we will start a single instance of the Elasticsearch node, which will be a master data ingest eligible node. You'll see a number of um, you know status messages coming out as Elasticsearch is initializing, and the last one we'll see is that uh, this valid license for the basic version of the stack is up and running. I'm going to open a new tab and CD into the Kibana, or I'm sorry, CD up one level, and then tar ZXVF the Kibana zip directory. Uh, every installation out of the box assumes that Elasticsearch is running on local, so with zero configuration changes, you can get both of these products up and running without having to do any configuration changes. In future episodes, we're going to cover other parts of the stack, uh, log stash and beats, and how they work on ingesting data into the Elastic stack, as well as uh, experiment with some visualizations uh, such as Canvas and Vega, uh, newer visualizations that have come out in, in the last year. Now that uh, Kibana is extracted, much like I started Elasticsearch, I will start uh, Kibana. Bin Kibana is the is the command to start Kibana, and again with zero configuration, we're up and running uh, because Kibana will point to a local instance of Elasticsearch. We'll see a number of status messages popping up as uh, Kibana starts up, and we'll be presented with a URL, and there it is, the localhost 5601. Uh, we can go to our browser now, open a new tab, and put that URL in, and we will be presented with Kibana. This is the default screen if you haven't loaded it before. Uh, and I just want to point out that there's a tour of Kibana in here. Uh, but just to kind of short, uh, shorten this video up, we're going to go right to loading a sample data set. So you'll see on the default screen, even if you don't know where that is, if you, you know, are messing around in, in there clicking on different apps, you can always click on the Kibana in the upper left-hand corner. It'll take you back to this main screen. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and load a sample data set into the Kibana uh, dashboard. We're going to be seeing a lot more of these from Elastic in the coming years and releases, but right now we have a sample flight data, just a bunch of information based on uh, flights and routes and destinations, etc. So I'll click the Add button. What this is doing is loading data into Elasticsearch, creating some visualizations and some dashboards to start experimenting with. Uh, and now that it's indicated it's installed, I can go ahead and click View Data. This will take us to the dashboard that was created, and we can scroll down and see. The, the number of uh, varying uh, visualizations that are available to us in, in this uh, demo set, demo data set. So I'm going to back up for a second and, uh, and go into the Discover screen. We'll kind of do a quick tour of these menus here. So the Discover screen is used primarily to just take a look at data that may be coming in, do some sampling, take a look at, for example, uh, the most recent document that was ingested. Uh, and, when, and when using time series uh, databases or time series data feeds in the Elastic Stack, it's kind of nice, nice to do just a quick refresh by setting the refresh interval to, say, five seconds. And then you can watch this data in near real time coming in uh, in buckets. So uh, another use for this visualization or discover screen is to look at an actual piece of data that was indexed and all the fields that were, were ingested. Um, and then we can go to the visualization menu where uh, you, you can see the visualizations that were created with the sample flights data set. But also if you wanted to create your own, you just click this little plus sign up here and you're presented with a bunch of options to create more visualizations. We'll cover a number of these in later sessions, but know that's how you get to creating your own visualization. 
The next screen is dashboards. And dashboards is essentially building visualizations together in a grouping that are meaningful. For example, we have a global flight dashboard for all of our flights visualizations that are presented here. I'm going to jump down to the bottom to show you if you wanted to look at the commercial features of the Elastic Stack, you can go into License Management on any installation that you've downloaded with the, the basic version of the stack. Click on License Management. And if you want to start a 30-day trial with the premium features, such as machine learning and graph and field level security and security in general, you can go ahead and start that by clicking the Start Trial button. Thanks for watching.